And James Stevens there with the horse that he loves so much, the horse known as Jimmy. Well, it, it's not something you see a lot because, um, but you know, you, you know, he's, he's worked with him for so long, and the horse knows him, and uh, and he knows the horse. So, uh, you know, they're, they're almost like mates. And uh, when he walk, when he walks into the barn, I'll uh, self-assured calls out to him, and uh, yeah, so he's uh, he's got real love for each other. So when I first got to All Stars, Jimmy was sort of like well, just another horse in the barn. No one really knew what, no one really knew what was going to come come of him and that. And yeah, it was funny actually because one day after Nat worked and early on, he she come in and she she hadn't actually driven the horse much, and she come to me and she's like, I've got two horses for you to look after. Uh, one's speech is still, and then, the, then this fellow, um, Jimmy, self-assured. And he just sort of, I just sort of took a shine to him of his personality, like he was really cheeky, and when he was really cheeky, he just had a real cool personality. So I, I, I'd started looking after him in that way early on, and then he's obviously, Nat actually had take, drove him one day, and she's like, this is like, She's like, this fella goes nice, like, you just keep looking after him and do, yeah, keep doing, doing a good job. Alpha Sheward goes to South Coast Arden, Spank and passing lane. Majestic Cruiser for the Aussies down the outside. It's Alpha Sheward. Majestic Cruiser down the outside. Spank him on the passing lane. It's Self Sheward though. Self Sheward. It is assertive fashion against the race by Grims. This hit wide powerhouse to beat Majestic Cruiser and thread over Spank. It's just, yeah, it's just an incredible feeling when he can pull off the wins. It's just like, it's been such an amazing ro ride with him and he's just done. A lot of first as well, like he obviously won the race. He was the first horse to win the race because the first running of it. That was real. That was a really big buzz after because I'd, yeah, just being the first race in that. And um, and the New Zealand Cup was also a really big thrill. That was pretty. That was a one everyone wants to win. So it was really great to see him be able to pull that off. And a lot of the other ones along the way is yeah. He, um, well, obviously in Queensland when he won the derby and he beat Lock and Var, that was real, that was a real big thrill too. I get nervous. I do get a bit nervous because I just wanted to go out there and just get around and come back safe and that. And I also want him to do his like because he's he tries so hard. You you know you're always going to get he's always going to try his hard out. So you. Yeah, don't really get nervous in that sense because he'll always give it 110. So it's just more, yeah, you just get nervous, like hoping he comes back like the way he went out. Yeah. And I've been really privileged along the way with like the, um, obviously with Hayden Cullen and Nathan Purden and Mark and Natalie and all the people that have been a part of his, uh, Jimmy's career as trainers, they've all really um, trusted me to look after the horse, which means a lot. And i just got to say a big thank you to them as well, especially Mark and Nat. They've always pushed me along the way like to be able to go everywhere with them and things like that, which they could have easily sent someone else, or, but they've always had my back and let me go, go around with the horse. So I've, been lucky, I've been from the bottom of the South Island to the top of the North Island and I went to Queensland and Sydney and Melbourne with him and that was that was a really big thrill as well. And Jean's been really great. She's I can't thank her enough for the for letting me look after self assured the whole way through. Like it really it means a lot. And she's she's been really great to me as well. Like she's all, she always asks how the horse is, and she'll always thank she always thanks me for like after the races, win, lose or draw. She's yeah, she's been really great. Yeah, like, yeah, and she's always happy to share the share the wins and that after he pulls them off, and that just makes it a lot really special too. For a lady like her to. Let me be a part of that. Is, yeah, it's a pretty big buzz. Yeah. 
No, I wouldn't say I've had a bond with a horse like that this before. No, he's just really special and it's just, yeah, he just sort of, as soon as I started looking after him, I just sort of, yeah, got attached to him pretty quick and, yeah, just haven't really left a side since, really. Yeah. yeah. Well, I've been really fortunate along the way as well. I've got to work with some amazing horses. Well, when I was at Courts, he, they had Terry to Love. He was there. He was a phenomenal horseman himself. He he went on to win the, obviously the three New Zealand Cups, and then coming to Mark and Nat. So it's just with Lazarus and horses like that, Smolder, Self Assured, amazing dream. Those horses are just it's just an, incredible to be able to work with such amazing animals that they just try their heart out for you every day, and they'll just. They'll do whatever you throw at them, and yeah, it's just an unreal feeling, really. That's it's not really working. It's just yeah, it's like yeah, doing what you love.